Jumping off the wall was the thing to do at Cromwell's, but not anymore. The Doris Duke Foundation for Islamic Art and Culture owns this property and has warned people about jumping off the wall with numerous no diving, jumping or climbing signs. But people did not listen, so the foundation decided to install a safety measure, a six foot fence. Well, I came here every weekend with my friends and that was basically our normal meeting spot. We would meet here and probably spend the rest of the evening after we'd like get finished with school and we'd spend the rest of the evening here until the sun was down basically and we'd all just get wet together. <laughs> the popular location known as Cromwell's is located in the affluent Diamond Head neighborhood at the end of Kulamanu Place. The walk along sharp rocks to the popular spot can be a treacherous journey itself. There have been numerous injuries at Cromwell's and two tragic ones that ended in paralysis. The foundation settled the two lawsuits from the accidents, but many swimmers are unhappy about the safety measure taken on by the foundation. Some say the fence attracts more people and jumping off the wall while trying to navigate the fence will be even more dangerous. Others say that the fence is just another example of a popular destination ruined by the irresponsible few. So now we go to China Walls and I'm afraid that they're going to close that down also, seeing as what happened here. Why would they close China Walls down? What activities do you guys do over there? We do the same things we did here, jump off, dive, try to make the biggest splash, whatever. Once, Cromwell was a popular tourist and local destination. Now it is abandoned and fenced off like a growing site on Oahu. This is Iba Bito Taite for UH News.